why are so many attorneys in town and in North Carolina and throughout the country requiring wire transfers for buyers funds at real estate closings? My name is Zeno Lancaster. I'm the owner of Lancaster Law Firm with headquartered here in Asheville with offices in Canton and growing. So why, why do you get these emails and these notices from closing attorneys to say, hey, we're going to want the buyer's funds to be by wire transfer. More and more attorneys are requiring these. Hey, Monica. Hey, Tucker. Thanks for watching. Um, why are we doing that? Why do we require them? Why do we care? Aren't certified checks good enough? That sort of thing. So I'm here to talk to you guys about that. Post any questions or comments you have as we talk about it and in the comments for answers later, and we can discuss it. So what you're gonna see in the industry, guys, I really believe this, and I see it on my end all the time, um, are more and more attorneys are requiring wire transfer for purchase proceeds. There's a lot of reasons for that. The first and foremost, hey Jessica, uh, the first and foremost is that certified checks, <coughs> excuse me, certified checks used to be same as cash, used to clear right away. You pull it out of your account, it's gone, not reversible. You put it into account, it's there, not reversible no longer the case. In fact, you might be surprised to know that certified checks are cancelable with your bank. You can go in there and cancel it after it's made. And if you were to file a fraud claim, they can be reversed and canceled six months later. Okay. Which means that closing attorneys and sellers and buyers and really anyone, no one, no one in the United States, really the way the banking is set up can rely on certified checks any longer. The bottom line is they're reversible, making them not good funds. Good funds under the state statutes here mean you can't reverse them. You can't clear them out. Okay, it's the same reason we don't accept personal checks. You can go stop payment on that check. You can stop payment on a certified check now many months later by filing fraud claims. <coughs> Excuse me. All these fraud systems have been set up because of all the check fraud that's out there by these banks. They're no longer honoring these as same as cash for all these reasons. Hey, Sydney, thanks for watching. So that's why we require, that's the biggest reason we require, require require wire transfers for the purchase funds on closing. They also do clear right away. So we can get those funds immediately, the same day the buyers send it, and we have their money safely in our trust account uh, for closing. It's not all that dangerous. It's not all that scary. It's just that people don't send a lot of wire transfers. So what you're talking about is making an appointment with your bank, going in there. It might take you 30 minutes or an hour tops takes you more than an hour to wire something with your bank, I would consider getting a different bank, okay? But sometimes you can even do it over the phone or um, online, but most of the time you have to go in, but that's all. In a whole span of a real estate closing, you're spending 30 minutes or an hour getting the funds to us on time, funds that we can use and clear. I do think that mo all attorneys really are gonna start requiring this. Most of them that I know do. Anybody that's busy does. It's just too much of a liability. Truist Bank let me know this year that the average certified check fraud claim, which took money out of an attorney's IOLTA trust account because there was a fraud claim filed, was $75,000. My banker let me know that if I was gonna accept certified checks, I need to be okay paying that myself if it ever goes poorly because he's seeing it ruin law firms. He's seeing it ruin lawyers. And so that's number two. It's not only just about protecting sellers and buyers, it's got to be about protecting us who are tasked with holding that money and certifying to all of you that it's there. And based on what I've just told you all, I can't certify that it's good and clear unless the banks agree to certify it. They will not do it. So a certified check really isn't certified anymore. It's not good funds. It can be reversed. And a wire transfer is the only thing that can be reversed, which is why on a purchase, we require purchase funds to be sent to us by wire. It's not an overly complicated uh, process. We have buyers do it all the time without issue. So I, if, you, if I can ever talk to your clients about this, if they're hesitant, they're curious, I'm happy to, but feel free to educate them on all of this. It's just too much check fraud actually out there. And uh, banks no longer honor those certified checks as cleared funds. So hope this helps on explaining why we're putting you guys through the hassle on your purchase funds. It's not just to bother you. It's not to give your clients some other hoop to jump through. It's for reasons that we have to have good funds under the statute, but also to protect our um, firm from check fraud and, and having to come up with that money ourselves, which I really don't want to have to do. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Zeno Lancaster. Post questions or comments below. 
Let me know your thoughts on this. If you think I'm wrong, I would love to discuss it with you. Post it below. We'll talk and um, talk more about where the industry is going with this. Thanks again for watching.